Hey guys. Okay, so I'm here to just show you what I got from the Makeup Art Supplies Collection. And, um, yeah, I was supposed to give you guys a sneak peek probably three days before. Uh, I had an event to do, um, the air event with Victoria Styles. If you follow me on Twitter, you know about that. And I just didn't have time. So I'm just going to show you now what I picked up. I didn't, you know, get anything crazy. I like this collection just because it's different. It doesn't have tons of the same thing that the collections come with but I didn't go crazy either just because I'm kind of just being you know practical as to what I get these days as I've said before in my videos so I really pay attention to you know the product and the consistency and the colors and the reason why I'm actually getting it as opposed to just like all oh, these colors you know the shade is beautiful I need it when in reality and I come back look at my collection I have tons of the same stuff so that's that. Now, the grease sticks. I love the grease sticks. They're one of my favorite products since they came out with Style Black. Uh, I don't know if they came out before that, but that's when I know them from. Um, they also came out in D squared. I got all of those. I got the one that isn't black, but it's black from Style Black that has like that purple pink undertone to it. I also got, um, I think it's V and B from D squared. And so when I went to see this collection, whatever I saw online, like the one, you know, I always have in my head what I want to get. So I wanted the blue and I wanted the purple and I wanted the black. I didn't get the blue or the purple because if you go to Tentali.com, she compares them to the ones from D squared and they're pretty much the same thing. So I passed on those. There was a beautiful green one, but I just passed on it because I have other green bases and stuff. And there was a really nice, like, um, burgundy-ish red type color. But um, it kind of reminded me of Artifact Paint Pot. Not that it was, you know, the same color, but it's in the same color scheme. So I passed on that. And, yeah, so I was a little bummed about that because I wanted more, but I know I didn't need it. So I ended up getting Slick Black, right? The, um, yeah, Slick Black. And then the same packaging, you know, everything's the same. It has the sharpener at the end. I've never actually used a sharpener. And it's just a black. Okay. And I already have swatches. So I'll show you that. Right here. Just a pretty black. Okay. Then the second one that I got is called Dirty. And it looks like this. And this is the swatch right here. Now, I've had these swatches for about half an hour on my hand, so. And it's exactly that. It's the perfect name for it. It's dirty because you don't know what the hell the color is, right? It has, like, brown, taupe, maybe, like, um, an army green, and even I see a pop of gold in there. And it's a very unique color to me, so that's why I got it, because I love it. I think it will look great with neutrals and stuff like that, or just like a full-blown um, lid with this color just blown out, I think would be amazing. So that's why I got this one. I really like that. Then I got two of the Pearl Glides. Now, I didn't go crazy on these either. I wasn't getting any. But then I swatched it, swatched one of them, and the color was gorgeous. But more importantly, the consistency is amazing. So these two that I got, I got mainly because of the consistency of these Pearl Glides. These also remind me of, I don't know if they're Pearl Glides or what they are, from a different collection that came out a while back. And I believe they came out several times. Not all the colors at the same time, but you know, some of them were re-promoted. And that was like Raven, Mystery, those pencils. These reminded me of those in shade wise the colors are like this green which is right here it's called undercurrent and just the whole um, glitter thing to it that's what reminded me of those pencils let's say green with like a black undertone or whatever but um, as far as like the glitter part of it is what it kind of reminded me of. And another th reason why I got these is that I'm not a big fan of the glitter liners 
you know, that you can use for, you know, your lash line or whatever. Because I don't, you know, and when I say I'm not a fan of it, I mean for me personally. In a shoe, I'm more than happy to use it. But for me personally, I always like, like, that pop of glitter, you know, that line. I think it looks great. But I don't like putting stuff like that on my eyes. So I think this is a great alternative because it'll give you the same type of effect. You can see that glitter there, but you're not really getting, it's like a glitter shimmer type thing to it and this has like a gold undertone to it. I really like this color and the consistency for these pencils is amazing. The other one that I got is called Almost Noir and it's like this mauve dusty rose type of color with a gold undertone to it just kind of almost dirty as well and that's what it looks like. And I got that one because I couldn't really describe what the hell it looked like. Right? I couldn't describe it. Okay, then the last two things that I got were the Pro Longwear Lip Stain Markers. That's the full name of it. This is what they look like. Okay, so it's just like a cute, sleek packaging. Your color is up there. This is the marker. Looks like that. This one is called Point of View, and it's just um, a neutral beige brown color and I got this because I love my neutrals and so I figured this will be great underneath as a base it'll be less retouching for me once the color goes away it'll blend nicely with my pigmented lips and then I could still have that little bit of stain there and I'll not have to worry about retouching maybe even just pop some gloss on top of it a clear lacquer or whatever and I'm good to go so that's why I got this color. Then the other one that I got is Full of Flare, and it's just this coral color. It looks orange here, but it actually comes out a little more corally on, you know, my skin tone. Now these are really pigmented, and really, this one is nice and bright, and I like this on my skin tone in the summer. I'm not a big fan of getting tanned, but obviously you can't help it if you're out in the street. You know, I wear my SPF and all of that, but you're always going to end up with a little something. So usually that little something gives me a little bit of a, kind of like the perfect tan, in my opinion, for my skin tone. And I love it with a coral lip or like a peachy lip or anything of that nature. So that's why I got this one because I think it'll be a great um, lip stain. And you know, even if you just, again, put it with a clear gloss, I think it will be hot. Or even with just a lighter gloss than this color, maybe like Queen Bee, which you guys know I love, um, Kumquat would probably look great on top of this. So, you know, you know what I'm saying. I, I bought these personally for me. I didn't buy any for my kit just because I don't feel that it's going to really be sanitary. Because I think these are best applied, you know, with the marker. That's just my opinion. Um, so I just got these for me. I didn't get any for my kit. I have other types of lip stains that I can use on my kit that I don't have to apply with this. I mean, even, you know, sanitizing it. I'm just not comfortable with that. So these are for me. And that's it, guys. That's all that I got. Sorry I don't have more to show you, but I'm being a cautious, smart shopper, people. I probably have another haul to show you guys with some other MAC stuff that I was going to show you with my CCO haul and I didn't get a chance to so maybe I'll do that after this video. So stay tuned for that maybe. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.